Okay, in this video, I want to further explore the concept of quadrupole magnetism, the theory that uh, magnetism is in all forms, well, that magnetism is a universal phenomenon um, and that all magnets, all forms of magnetism are quadrupole in nature, meaning four poles, four spins, two anti-clockwise, two clockwise. And what this particular uh, video is about showing the, the three types of magnetic currents that can happen if this theory of magnetism is correct. And um, so you have first the double helix kind of magnetic current flow, which can either be vertical or horizontal. And you come down here. Well, a clear example of that in the human being is DNA. But, you know, you can see the eyes as well as other structures in the body, which probably how much can be mapped out by that, you know, flow, those flows, whether vertical or horizontal double helix uh, magnetic spin, you know, f current flow patterns, it's hard to say. But this is this is one of the patterns. This is there are also two other patterns. So the next pattern is the diagonal magnetic current flows, not only in the human body, but in nature. And so you have in the di diagonal magnetic current flows, you have from right to left and from left to right. And in the human being, things like muscle striation and possibly the rounding of structures like the buttocks and the shoulders and other rounded kind of structures where you have smooth uh, structures and surfaces are probably um, due to this kind of magnetic current flow. So you have diagonal, right to left, left to right. And then the third type of magnetic current flow not only in the human being but in life is the diamond shape which is you would either have a a south or a, or a north diamond magnetic current flow pattern where you have four north poles kind of flowing together or four south poles flowing together and where you can see this most clearly is in the openings in the human being and i don't mean just the orifices but i mean places where there may be apertures or openings for any number of purposes, you know, and even ones that we don't normally consider as openings or apertures, but where energy can be absorbed and released. So this is just the basic outline of, of the process. And the basic underlying theory is that magnetism is universal, that, that the description of reality, the correct one, is based on pan magnetism that all is magnetism and that magnetism is if it's everywhere that the basic the correct way to describe magnets all magnets which everything that exists would be a magnet then in some form is with quadrupole magnetism meaning four spins four spins two clockwise two anti-clockwise and when you take all these spins and you map them out on a grid three-dimensionally, what you can do is map out not only the whole human being, but every structure in nature. And what you end up with is this Enneagram pattern of Gurdjieff. And uh, these basic theories are derived from Albert Roy Davis, Walter C. Rawls, their theories of magnetic spins, as well as uh, Howard Johnson and his diagrams. But the important thing to recognize from this is something very important, that the binary code of nature is actually magnetic. And that means that there, what, what is defining and describing all the structures, patterns, and substances and forms in nature are just two magnetic spins, north and south. The whole range of variations and, and nuances in those spins re result in different um, magnetic current flows, whether one of these three that I mentioned, 
the double helix, horizontal and vertical, the diagonal right to left, left to right, and then the diamond flows, you know, south, you know, four south or four north. All of this, basically, you can describe everything just purely with a binary system of magnetism, but based on magnets being quadrupole. Well, that's it. Thanks. Bye.